everybody and welcome back to the Moshix Mainframe channel. This is Moshix. Hardly a month goes by without somebody somewhere in the world complaining about COBOL being the culprit for some of the uh, problems that society, uh, modern society is facing today. Whether it's the, uh, it's the New Jersey uh, authorities during COVID that couldn't keep up with the sudden, sudden demand surge in uh, unemployment benefits or the IRS receiving uh, 80 billion dollars in uh, in new budget so that they can uh, get off from the uh, mainframe and uh, COBOL there's always some some story around COBOL and usually it's about it's ancient um, of course in this channel we've discussed many times that COBOL is uh, anything but ancient it's still very modern it is uh, it is uh, updated all the time. It's 64-bit. It has object-oriented uh, programming capabilities. Uh, it is still very widely used and still a lot of new software is being written every single day in COBOL. So people want to find out more about COBOL and see what all this COBOL thing is about. And of course, on the web, you can find lots of information about COBOL, uh, what is the simplest possible Hello World program, etc. But people don't actually don't just want to read something on the web. They actually want to go and run a COBOL program and see what this is all about. And of course, COBOL goes together with mainframe and people want to have a look at this mainframe and see what is the what is the mainframe environment? How do you start and, and uh, execute the COBOL program? And um, and so just looking at web pages, unfortunately, it's not enough. People just want to get as quickly as possible from zero in, you know, to running a COBOL program in as short a time as possible. And that's what we're going to do in this video today. In this video today, we're going to get uh, from, um, from zero to running a COBOL program, and I'll show you how to do it. So obviously we need to obtain a mainframe environment somewhere and fortunately uh, there is an emulator out there that is able to execute and run the mainframe uh, operating system uh, MVS and some others but uh, we're going to focus on MVS today which is the main uh, operating system for the mainframe of the 70s 80s and even part of the 90s and the descendants of this operating system MVS are still uh, being used today every day in every bank and uh, government uh, everywhere so we're going to go and uh, go back in time to the uh, early 80s mid 80s and obtain uh, an image that you can download as a gzip file uh, that i have made available here on this archive website and we're going to download it and i'll show you that within two minutes we're going to have a full real operating system mainframe operating system running on your windows or linux or whatever computer and execute COBOL or pl1 or any other mainframe um, programming language that you want such as algol and others and uh, get the results on your screen so let's get started and I put this uh, page together a couple of months ago, I think, uh, yeah, uh, back in May 2022, with um, with the uh, operating system image, all the necessary languages such as COBOL, the runtimes, everything that you need, and of course a, uh, a menu interface so that uh, we can work with it um, uh, easily. And of course, I only packaged this together. I I, I contribute very, very little to this. Uh, I will put the description in the description below this video, the link to where you can obtain this image. And I have a little timing here so we can time ourselves and see how long it takes from the moment we uh, obtain this image. So let's get started. Uh, all you do is click on, on the, on the gzip, you download it. And then um, I have it here. Uh, so I put it here. And then we also need a terminal emulator because the mainframe works with the 3270 uh, protocol. So we go to this uh, page here um, and I'll put also in the description below this video a link to where you can get this terminal emulator. And uh, you go here to download and then download this one. Uh, there's only one or two versions. It doesn't really matter which ones, um, which one you download. And we'll go find it and put it here. Okay, so that's done. At this point now we can um, unpack this, uh, this uh, tar file. So let's see how long file loading. 
I'm not very good at Windows, so okay, so here it is. Let's put it here. Oh, it's still unzipping. Okay. Okie dokie. So uh, this is pretty much it. So now we go into here and we click. Um, so we open up a command line. We go to the desktop and this one is called TK4 ISPF. Once we're in here, we just type MVS. And it tells me that the firewall wants to know something about it. Okay, so now the, the mainframe is already executing. If I press escape here, um, if I press escape, you'll see that I have a panel that shows me the instructions being executed by this emulated mainframe, all the registers. We can see all the devices that this mainframe has, of which there are, in this case, dozens. And um, it's already executing. So now we install Vista. And while the mainframe is booting, okay, so it looks like the mainframe is already up. Oops, here it is. And it's up. So if I want to see everything that's running, I put the slash D A comma L and it shows me everything that is running. So I have all these processes are running, it's still uh, running. And now that I have installed the thermal emulator, emulator I executed by saying Vista, uh, here it is. I'll say localhost and port 3270. This is very important that you put in here port 3270 and we're connected. And if we press enter now, we can log in. The password is, the user is Herc01 for Hercules01. Password is see you later. I'll put it, uh, you'll see here at the bottom of the screen. And we have logged in. We go, we press 3.4. We go to sys2. JCL lib for library. We say here E for edit. We press F8 to scroll down. And we say, we look here at the COBOL program called Prime COBOL 1. We say E again for edit. And we say submit for execution. And that's it, it's already executed. We now Press F3 to go back, F3 again, F3 again, F3 again. We say 3.8 and we scroll down, select it, and here is our COBOL program. As you can see here, this is a COBOL program that calculates prime numbers and um, these are the first, the prime numbers up to the first 2000 um, uh, real numbers. So and that's it. So we executed this in uh, in five minutes flat from from the very beginning, from downloading and unzipping. And I'm on a very slow computer here, but uh, it's possible to do it in five minutes flat. So um, we can see here that we have a return code of zero. So it is executed without any problem. This is the compilation step and this is the execution step. So this um, uh, compiled it and executed both uh, in one go. And the uh, COBOL program is quite easy to follow. Um, I'm not going to go into the syntax of COBOL, but uh, that's about it. And so that's uh, uh, how the mainframe operating system uh, looks like. That's the user interface. Uh, you have number, number two will get you the edit uh, area. If you wanted to edit something, we can say YouTube. And now we can edit something, edit something. Uh, we can repeat it five times, etc. 
So and to save it, you say, type save. F3 always gets you one level up. It's like a tree-like structure of panels. And the deeper you down you go, the more you have to press F3 to go to this main panel again. This is the primary option. So all, everything else is for you to play with and explore. Now, I want to tell you about a place where we have hundreds of mainframe enthusiasts. If you want to talk to other mainframe enthusiasts and, uh, and, uh, and chat with them and learn, uh, we have a Discord channel, which is very, very lively with, as I said, hundreds of people. And so let me show you how to get there. So here is our Discord uh, chat server where we have, uh, it's called Mainframe Enthusiasts, where we have hundreds of uh, participants, very lively discussions on uh, uh, anything from this uh, operating system we just uh, executed a few seconds ago to other mainframe operating systems uh, such as VM370, Music, um, MTS. We have Linux on the mainframe discussions. We have uh, modern mainframe discussions. We have Rex, um, networking, and even other mainframes are being discussed here. So very lively discussions. I will put the link to this uh, Discord uh, chat server um, in the description below this video. It's also linked here at the bottom of your screen. And, uh, and I encourage you uh, to uh, join and talk to the hundreds of other enthusiasts and people who just want to learn or just want to come in and find out what the mainframe is about. Uh, it's all in here. I'll just do it one more time. You go to 3.4 at the beginning. Here you see sys2.jclib. You put an E to the on the left side of, of, uh, of this library. Then you press F8 to scroll down. Select um, PrimeCop1, this line here, as you can see. Um, and then uh, which contains the program and all the scripting necessary to compile and execute it. This is called the job in, uh, in mainframe language. So submit it. And as we submit it, you can see here immediately it executed it in the blink of an eye. It's extremely efficient. It's extremely fast. Even in the emulator, it's many, many hundreds or maybe thousands of times faster than the mainframes from the 80s. Then we press F3 to go up um, to the top level. We press 3.8. And then um, we see here that the job uh, number, almost like a process number in Linux, is number 10. So um, we go pick 10 here, which is this one, the one we just executed. S for selection. And here is the result of the, comp the global compilation. If you want to go and change it, obviously, you go press F3 again until you're up. Um, 3.4 again. 3.4 is almost like a file browser. Um, e for edit, F8 to select it again, and if we want to change anything here, we could say primes, prime numbers, prime numbers. Okay, so we just made our first COBOL change to a COBOL program. So save it and submit it, and of course it should now get uh, 11. Uh, this operating system is a is a multi-user, multitasking operating system. So if you had other users connected to it, of course, um, uh, the job numbers would steadily increase. But since we are the only user connected, we can now say submit. Yeah, here it is. So 12, we executed it now, and it's already ended. And again, if we now want to go see the output, we go F3, 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 F3. Then we press 3.8 and the job number 12 is going to be here. So that's it. Uh, that's the fastest way that uh, you can get a taste for the mainframe and see how things work on the mainframe and see COBOL or any other programming language. We have, uh, we have many other languages installed in this image. And it's a small image. It's only 260 megabytes. You can download it and, uh, and unpack and install and run within just a couple of minutes as we've shown here. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, uh, connect to the Discord channel and ask people there. I'm there very often as well. Thank you and goodbye. Don't forget to press the thumbs up button.